Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. Hope you are all doing great. So today we are going to cover Russian doll envelopes, which is the hard problem in lead code. So the input given here is a width and height of uh, several envelopes and we have to return the maximum number of envelopes we can make Russian doll. That is put one inside the other. So let's understand how are we going to approach this problem. So here are the envelopes with heights and width. So the smallest envelope given here is 2 comma 3. So the first envelope size is of 2 comma 3. And next, if you have to put this envelope into another, both the height and width should be higher or greater than the uh, current envelope size. So now the next least size is 5 comma 4. So you can put 2 comma 3 into 5 comma 4. So we have to search for bigger one than 5 comma 4 to put this into that. So as of now 2 comma 3 is inside 5 comma 4. So you have to put all two into another one. So if you see the next higher height is 6 comma 4 but 6 comma 4, 4 is the same height as that of 5 comma 4 so you cannot put that into 6 comma 4. So checking on to the next envelope 6 comma 7. So 6 comma 7 is the higher height and width. So you can put both 2 comma 3 and 5 comma 4 inside 6 comma 7. So the total number of envelopes you can make the Russian doll is 3. So that is going to be our output. So here the first intuition we get is we have to sort the given array in ascending order so that we find how many envelopes we can put into the next higher height. It is a typical dynamic programming solution where we have to find the longest increasing subsequence of the sorted array and we'll be arriving at our answer. So to understand what is exactly longest increasing subsequence, check the link in description. So let's further proceed. How are we going to approach this? We are going to have a dynamic array DP where we are going to keep track of the solution for each sub problem and then finally arrive at our bigger solution. So here after sorting our given array, array looks something like this. So based on the first value that is the height, we are going to sort our array and we are going to fill our dp array and arrive at our bigger solution. So this dp array represent the solution for the sub problem that is how many envelopes we can put into each other at this particular point. So you will understand as we iterate through the given array. So let's have two pointers. Our pointer i starts at the first element and pointer j starts as the second array or second envelope. So we are going to fill in our array with all ones at first step because each envelope individually is an output. So if we cannot put any envelope into each other, the maximum envelope we can make a Russian doll is one. So I'm going to put the minimum answer in all my DP array. So next moving on to checking whether we can put at J that is 5 comma 4, how many en envelopes till that point. So we have only one envelope before 5 comma 4 that is 2 comma 3. So we are going to check whether we can put this envelope into 5 comma 4. The answer is yes because both the height and width are greater than the first envelope. So in this case at this point that is where our j is the already answer is 1 because we can put 5 comma 4. At 2 comma 3 the answer is only 1 because we don't have any other envelopes before 2 comma 3. So till 2 comma 3 you can form only one Russian doll. So at 5 comma 4 you can put 2 comma 3. So the answer is plus 1 because you can put 2 comma 3 into 5 comma 4. So next move our pointer j to the next envelope. So now here we are at the envelope 3 of height and width 6 comma 4. We are going to check for each i how many envelopes we can put into 6 comma 4. That is First, we are going to check whether 2 comma 3 can be put into 6 comma 4. The answer is yes. So till this point 6 comma 4, the envelopes we can put into each other was 2. So now moving our i to the next envelope 5 comma 4, we are going to check whether we can put 5 comma 4 and 2 comma 3 to 6 comma 4. That is till this point where our i is, 5 comma 4 is nothing but how many envelopes we have made Russian doll. So at this point, you have both the envelopes 2 comma 3 as well as 5 comma 4 together as one doll. We are going to check whether 
we can put this doll into 6 comma 4. So if you check that 5 comma 4 and 6 comma 4 share the same height. So we cannot put this doll into this doll so it is invalid. So at this point the maximum dolls you can put to each other is 2 because 5 comma 4 you cannot put into 6 comma 4. So now it's time to move our pointer j to the last envelope. So now j is pointing at our last envelope. It's time to check at each stage how many dolls we can put. So first starting from 2 comma 3 whether we can put 2 comma 3 into 6 comma 7. Yes obviously. So we are going to add one here. So now moving up to the next stage i. So i points at the doll that is 2 comma 3 as well as 5 comma 4. So for the two envelopes whether we can put those two envelopes into 6 comma 7. So if you see 5 comma 4 is less than 6 comma 7 in both height and width so we can put this doll into 6 comma 7. So so far we have made two dolls or two envelopes into 6 comma 7 but if you put these two envelopes into 6 comma 7 it will become 3. So we are checking which is the maximum 2 or 3 3 is maximum so we are going to fill our array with value 3. So now move our pointer i to 6 comma 4 at this stage from 6 comma 4 there is already two envelopes we are going to check whether we can put all these two envelopes into 6 comma 7 because it has 2 comma 3 and 6 comma 4 if you want to put 6 comma, 6 comma 4 into 6 comma 7 no it is no because 6 shares the same height so you cannot add that to this position so so far the maximum number of dolls we have made is 3 that is going to be out so before entering into the algorithm this actually works in big O of n square because we are sorting the array once and iterating the array through i comma j two pointers so let's see the code now so as i said i'm going to sort my array first So I am going to sort based on the second value of the array if the first values are equal. If not, I am going to sort it based on the first value itself. Let me declare my dp array. So I am going to have two loops i and j where i points at the first the second envelope and j starts every time from 0 to i so we are going to check every time whether the height and width of the next envelope is greater than the current envelope then we are going to update the value of dp So yes our dp array is filled now we are going to have a variable result which is going to keep hold of the maximum value so far in our dp array at end of every loop we are going to update our result and finally return the result So yes, let's run. So yes, let's submit. Yes, our solution is accepted. So thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe. Thank you.